video making fun of the genre and all that. It was a bit of a parody like I mentioned earlier. But if the people behind this movie, the director, the producer, the writer, they want to know why they're getting people angry at them, why they're getting death threats, why people have disowned this movie as not even being jam at all, and why it's had the worst box office openings in history, is because they didn't stay true to what made Jim what it is. Yeah, okay, fine. You want to switch Eric Raymond into Erica Raymond? Fine, no problem. You want to set it in modern times? Fine, no problem. But stay true to what made the franchise what it is today. That's what you do. You don't try to switch things up. And oh, by the way, if you're going to get someone to write for your film, make sure it's somebody that's had... That, let me put it this way, no offense to the guy, no offense, but make sure it's somebody that has a long, extensive history and understanding on how to bring a property to life properly. But, you know, again, I have a fondness for this, even though I never watched it as much as a kid. I have respect for it. Watching some of the episodes, they are good. They have elements that will get not just girls attracted, but get boys attracted to it. And if you're an 80s fan growing up with this and you were hoping for a movie, the movie you got, you pretty much know this by now, is not Jim at all. And if I'm Christy Marks, I, get to, I call Hasbro, I get Hasbro on the phone right now and I get appropriate, and I get the ball rolling for more accurate Gem movie adaption. Again, if you want to set it in modern times, that's fine. You want to change Eric Raymond into Erica Raymond, that's fine. But at least stay true to what made the so to what made the franchise what it is. Stay true to the original source material in some way. But again, the people behind us wonder why Jim had the worst box office opening and where all this other stuff is happening. Maybe next time you should do a little bit more research, not be in a hurry to rush something out at $5 million, with a $5 million budget, and probably negotiate for a bigger budget. Maybe now you realize why, even though despite the fact that, you know, some people have the criticism about Transformers, why people still love them. Because they stay true to the source material. They don't shit on it. But you guys let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. I'm out.